Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to talk about covering dark circles and having that concealer last all day without sliding off and also not creasing and not emphasizing fine lines or making you look dry and wrinkly as the day goes on because I feel like that's a struggle for a lot of people. It was for me for years and I would follow all these tutorials and do all these methods and try all these eye creams and um, concealers and correctors and nothing would quite work. I, you know, it would conceal, but then it would slide off or it would conceal and then I would look like a 70 year old when I was 30. Um, so I finally, I don't know, a few years ago found a method that really worked for me and products that really worked for me. And so I wanted to share this. I do want to note one thing. If you do see something going on here, that is not discoloration. That is a shadow because um, while some people have bags, I have hollows. Um, that's just my anatomy. That's the way I made it. So if you have less fat in this area, really the only thing that's going to help there is filler. But I don't get bags under my eyes. I just get kind of a sunken in wrinkly look. When I am tired and I need a concealer that will not emphasize that look. So, um, Let's get to it. First of all, it's very important to apply an eye cream. I do this while, you know, after I get out of the shower, put on my moisturizer, put on an eye cream, let it sink in. You can even do it a couple of times just to plump up that area. So that is super helpful. I feel like a lot of people skip an eye cream because they feel like it's going to make your product slide off your face. It doesn't. Just let it sink in for a little bit while you're putting your products in your hair, your lotion on your body, whatever you do when you get out of the shower, just let your eye cream sink in a little um, bit. First product that I like, love, is Benefit Erase Paste. And I know a lot of people talk about this product, um, but I'll go into why I like it so much. It's called a brightening camouflage for eyes and face. The consistency, I hope you can tell the consistency here. This is creamy and it absorbs into the skin beautifully. It's It doesn't slide off my face. So I appreciate that. Um, so if you are looking for a corrector, which I think if you have purplish or bluish circles under your eyes, it's a good idea to use a corrector to counterbalance that. This is a beautiful product. I don't always use a corrector. Sometimes I'm lazy and I don't. So it happens. But if you're going to use one, I recommend this. The second product that I swear by, I since I found this, I will not use anything else. Nothing. And I use it without the erase paste sometimes, and, and I also use it with. Today, I have, for the tutorial, I have it on with. Um, it is Tarte Maracuja. Am I butchering that? Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. Full coverage, creaseless, waterproof concealer. So, this is what that looks like. And... I love it. I think it's perfect. I think people that have tried this before and say that they don't like it, that it's cakey or using way too much, and you will see that uh, when I go through the demo. You only need the most minute amount of this product for it to work. It is not like any other concealer that I have tried and used before because previously when I had to conceal these suckers, you need just a massive amount of product and layer after layer after layer and then it starts looking cakey and then you have the potential of it sliding off of your face. So this for me is um, perfect. It covers beautifully without looking like I have a ton of product under my eyes. It doesn't slide around during the day. It doesn't make me look old <laughs> or I guess I should say older than I am. It doesn't make me look dry. It doesn't settle into those fine lines during the day. I, I can't say enough good things. I do not ever plan on switching from this unless they discontinue it or unless just some fabulous, wonderful product comes out that's even better, which I can't even imagine. So that's what I use. Um, and you'll see in the demo, I use my fingers. Um, hey, we're born with them. It's the easiest thing. I have been known to use Sephora's Pro Airbrush Concealer number 57. I have used this before and sometimes I'll pull it out and use it just because, but I've tested before one side with this and one side with my fingers and I've found that the side that I use 
with my fingers lasts better and looks better throughout the day. And I think that it's just that warmth that helps it blend into the skin. A lot of tutorials are done with brushes and with beauty blenders, but I think if you have really, really dark circles and fine lines or crease throughout the day, I think there's something to be said for just going back to using your fingers. That's just my opinion. I feel like even though this concealer says it's creaseless, you do need to set it, or I do anyway, because I get these little crinkles. I have very expressive eyes when I talk and laugh, and I'm not getting any younger, so I need to set it. I don't bake. I think that that makes me look really dry as the day goes on, so I do set it though. My preferred setting powder is Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I think it looks beautiful under the eyes. I am out of this powder right now, um, so this is what that looks like. In the like. meantime, I am using NARS Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Powder, which is this loose powder. So it works pretty well. I just still prefer my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. So all that being said, let's get right into it and I will show you what I do and how dark my circles are. No lie, they are really dark. It ain't pretty, and I have not done a really close-up tutorial before, so this could be really scary. Okay, so I only have BB cream on and some of my eye makeup. I don't always do my eye makeup first. I just went ahead and did that today because I was getting ready for work. I'm going to do one eye and not do the other eye so that you can see the difference. Okay, I pinned my hair back and got a little bit closer. I hope this is not too scary. Um, uh, you may notice that I have hollows under my eyes, so that is just nature. That's the way I'm made, and um, I may have shadows there from that, but the discoloration is gone once I do this, and it stays gone the whole day and does not crease. So, let's get started. First, I take the erase paste that I love to get rid of this purple under here. And I'm just gonna do this eye and show you the difference. What I do is I take a little bit on my finger and I don't know why I use my little finger, I just do. Um, and then I tap it between two fingers and kind of go like this. So then I take it and I prefer to use my fingers. I just find that there's something about the heat between your skin on your face and your fingers that just really lets the products meld into your skin. So um, I just think that this allows for it to not crease longer or at all throughout the day. So you can see here the purple, the difference already. So you could stop there if you wanted to, if you're just kind of not really wanting a whole lot of correction during the day, so, um, or at night, hell, doesn't matter. Um, so there, so that gets rid of the purple discoloration already and you only need it a little okay. bit. So now I'm gonna take the tart that I am in love with. I have yet to find anything that works as well and that lasts all day without creasing or making me look old and haggard. That was loud, sorry, I threw it down. So I am taking this teeny, tiny amount, and this is too much. My method is different from a lot of people's. They tend to take these triangles and go all over. If you do that with this concealer, you're not gonna like this concealer. Most of the time when people say that this concealer, how many times can I say concealer? Most of the time when people say this does not work for them and that it's cakey, it's because they use too much because they're using it like a regular concealer. You only need the smallest, tiniest dab for this to work for you. So when you divide it between two fingers, and I have nail polish on this finger, so ignore it. When you divide it between two fingers, it's gonna look like this. It's not a mound of product. So I take it and I put it right there. That looks like it's not gonna do anything, but it does. So if you use a brush, you're gonna kinda go like this and start moving it this way and this way. I'm gonna use my finger. I'm not gonna use the finger I have concealer on. I'm gonna use my middle finger. 
and I'm just going to pat downwards and inwards. God, I hope I'm in frame because I'm not looking. And I'm going this way. And you see, it's just a fine layer and I am going down because I don't want to look like I have a raccoon eye. I think my eyes are red. Um, okay, so that is one layer. And you can see, I mean, it, it's covering very well and it is melded into the skin. I'm going to do a little bit more, just a tad, because I want to look highlighted and lifted through here and I want it to look kind of even. Just right there in that hollow. For me, it's a hollow. If you have an area where you're a little more problematic, put it there. And I want to kind of extend it out here. Again, I don't do that big um, triangle technique that other people do. And just, do you see that tiny amount of product that I'm using? That is all you need with this product. And I kind of bring it down the side just so it all looks blended together. And that's it. Okay. And to set, I use Real Technique Setting Brush. That's what this looks like. It's nice, it's flat, it's dense but soft. It's got powder in it. I did not clean it, I used it this week. Um, sorry about that. I mean, there's powder in here and I just tap my brush in here like this. Okay, there's a lot of brush on here. So then I take it and I kind of just tap it in the lid to flatten it out. Okay, it's not rocket science. I just get a decent amount of powder. I'm not baking. I do not bake. I don't have the time. I don't like it. Okay, so you can see here that as I was talking, it's creased up a little bit right here because I'm not 20. It creases. I've always had expressive eyes. It just creases. Take your finger and lightly tap those creases out before you put your powder on. Okay? I wasn't in frame. Sorry. Okay, so do that. Now take your powder and just tap it on there. I like to look up because the creases are gone when I look up. Mm -hmm. Okay? Why do I keep saying okay? What is... Mm. Okay. So, and I did it again. Okay, okay. I think y'all got it. So, I just tap that all around. Wipe off the excess. And you are good. You're good to go. So, that's it. And as you can see... God, I hope that lighting's okay. And I'm looking at myself. Sorry. So that difference is pretty drastic. Um, I've had people accuse me of lying when I tell them that I have dark circles. Um, I've found a way that really works for me. It will look like this all day long. It does increase. It doesn't budge. But you do have to set it with a powder. I've just found a way to set it with a powder to where it doesn't look dry and it doesn't crease as the day goes on. I'm going to finish my makeup and come back. I hope that helps you guys. I just It was a struggle for me for a long time to figure out what would cover dark circles without creasing during the day, without making me look all dry and wrinkly under the eyes. And this, this combination really, really works for me, along with putting on an eye cream before and using my fingers. Um, I know a lot of people use Beauty Blender and brushes and things like that, and they'll work, but I find that during the day, it just doesn't hold up the way just using my fingers does. Anyway, I hope that helps somebody, and I hope to see you guys again. If you like this, please subscribe and like, and I hope to see you guys again. Thanks. Bye.